Hey everyone, wanted to do a very quick video on working backwards a little bit. Instead of trying to find a margin of error, actually trying to find what sample size do we need. So real quickly, why would this be important? Well, oftentimes researchers and anyone doing a survey, they don't want to just throw out and try to get some really large number. They want to know what specific number they need to reach in order to achieve some of the desired outcomes of that particular survey. And particularly, if you're a large company, you don't want to spend more money than you have to. So you want to know what sample size do I need to achieve in order to have some of the accuracy and the kind of the tightness to the interval that's desired. So let me give you a very quick example of how this works. There are three things you need to answer. First of all is a planning value. And we call this a planning value because it's some kind of notation that's representative of the population standard deviation. Uh, sometimes you have information to accurately suggest what this number is. Other times you have to be a little more creative in order to figure out what that might be. So that's why we call it a planning value. The desired margin of error and then of course our confidence level. Here's our formula and we simply plug this in, solve, and we can find out what n is. So here's an example. Let's imagine that I'm a fast food company and I'm doing a survey and I want to get some kind of an idea about how frequently people come to our restaurant or how they feel about us or something of that nature. But specifically, I know that I have a planning value that the population standard deviation is 0.7. I have a desired margin of error of 0.1. So I want it to be within one-tenth um, uh, of, from an accuracy standpoint. I've, I want very little margin of error. And I want a 95% confidence level. So how many people do I need to survey in order to achieve that? Well, we know that our confidence level, Z alpha divided by 2, that's going to be 1.96 squared. We're multiplying that by our planning value squared, and we're dividing by our margin of error squared. And if you do this and round up, you'll find you get a value of 188. So if you're a researcher and you're going back to that fast food company, you'd say the magic number is 188.